Ladies and gentlemen, hello, Ohio, buenos dias, <laughs> and just здравствуйте. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm in a very, very good mood today because we are getting back to A and Z to watch some more Final Fantasy 13 in action with Saz and Vanille this time around. Oh yeah, I, I have been waiting for this part. I'm playing as a very, very cute young lady, accompanied by a very, very knowledgeable and wise old man named Saz Katzroy. So that means probably fails will be cut to the minimum, just because I have optimistic views of the situations to come. Through the Sunleth waterscape we go, but not before jumping into the Paradigms and Crystarium. First of all, I remember... <laughs> look how much CP we've got to satisfy all our needs possible. Here we go, our characters can develop further and further. Let's start with Vanille, since she's going to be our leader at this point. Nothing of interest so far, but later on it's going to be Asuna and Kyura. Probably these two are the characteristics we should grab, irrespective of anything else. Because isn't that nice to be able to heal any debuffs from us, if anything, or anybody inflicts anything bad, such as D-Protect or D-Shell and Poison and whatnot, just like those uh, Silver Lobos with their virulent breath. And Cura is basically the ability to cure several guys at one blow. Isn't that efficient? I think it is. It's just unquestionably so. So, but I think I'll start just by observing things. What do we have in... Uh, in Ravager's line, we get... Air Aura, Area of Effect, Wind Attack, and we also get Thunder for uh, Vanille, we got Overwhelm, so that they both have Overwhelmed, <laughs> I mean, they can have uh, their opponents Overwhelmed, and we got Fire Eye here too, nice, it's basically obligatory, obligatory to grab all this first, I think. Just because it more appeals to me, like, to prioritize it. And also, we got Saboteur's skills here. In terms of Saboteur, we got Poison right away. Let's see if we can grab it. Quake is not something we'll... We'll use. But Quake is basically a technique. Which I prefer to economize. So probably we will test that with Saz and Vanille, because neither of them have, uh, well, neither of them has Eidolons to summon, so there is nothing to save up for. So if we grab the Quake, we'll try testing that. But I don't think it's all that necessary to use, and I don't remember anybody with any vulnerability to Earth magic. So, yeah. I'll start with Ravager right away. Here we go. We got Air Aura right from the get-go. HP. HP 5, really? What is that node even existing for here? We got Strength. I will grab Fire skill first as the only area of effect magic damager. And probably I'll get for roll level straight away. Well, let's grab everything we have here. And make sure Vanilla is fully charged as Ravager from the get-go of the sixth chapter. It's very nice to know. I think I'll get uh, the poison ability. Actually, actually no. I will start with uh, Kyura and Asuna. Here we go. And grab this. And then we will go as close as we can. To poison, I still have some CP to gain, but it is going to be the top priority first. 
And then we're gonna be doing whatever they... Whatever we like, basically. Whatever we want. In terms of Saz, it is also of great interest. As Commando, does he have anything of interest? No, only Quake here. Well, basically, nothing of interest as Commando. No special skills. Oh, well, oops! Wrong thing to do. Didn't want to waste a single CP. Not really much. Lots of HP nodes here. Maybe this for HP 20. But not really anything of interest. As Ravager, we can grab the Thunder. Well, alright. Thunder will do nice. And as Synergist, if nothing else, I will go for Thunder right away. We got in Thunder and in Water. Hmm. Okay. Let's just, for the sake of interest, start with Synergist and get a couple of power-ups. In Thunder to increase any... well, that to imbue any damage with Thunder. And in Water to imbue anything with Water. Keep in mind that these skills, just like uh, bar-type skills of hopes, such as Bar Water, Bar, bar Thunder, they are exclusive. So if you uh, charge somebody with, with uh, in Thunder, don't think you can use them both. No, that's, that's not the way to go. One is negating another, so you can just go for one element at one time. If, if, if you go for in water right after in thunder, your characters will simply be in watered and that's it. The thunder buff will disappear, so just keep that in mind. And I'm going for thunder here. The more diversity we have in our damaging spells, the better we become. So yeah, and probably I will go for roll level on Ravager, even though he's mostly Commando, but I think he will do without it well enough. And we got HP 30 here instead of Commando's HP 20, so there is more HP here going on. It's a lot... and even an accessory, yeah, that's decided on right now. Since we got fully developed on Ravager, Synergist is going to be the following thing right from the get-go, and Commando will save it for the last. Okay, we did it. We did it. We're perfectly ready to advance. Saz, Vanil, are you ready? Let's engage in action. Oh, yeah, not yet. We got paradigms to watch over. And for this particular part, I believe that there is no need to change a thing whatsoever. Because that's sufficiently enough to beat this chapter. That's enough, since Vanille is the only medic here. And she's got like... Oh well, yeah, probably, probably I can go for Saboteur Ravager and swap these, just because sometimes I might need that. But basically everything is going to be done by Vanille during this chapter. Everything. Healing, sabotage, magic attacks, everything depends on her. Because Saz, well, he is a commando and ravager, but as commando he is not doing all that much damage. Ravager, yeah, pretty nice. On the same level as Vanille right now, except for the Fyra that Vanille has. So, story-wise, he's being kind of enveloped in his own thoughts. And it is both justified by the gameplay, by the level of their development, by the Crystarium uh, skills and points they both have. I'm guessing that's one of uh, the very, very nice and good gameplay designing decisions in this game so far. The time for us to go on! 
Who do we have here? No Some kind of gigantic tomatoes. Flandragora. <laughs> There's some kind of uh, mandrake things. Monsas, help us out. Okay, done and done. But only Sass can basically dispatch of these guys. I'm not even sure. Okay, what do we know about these? Oh, they got immune to physical. Good thing Sass has ruin spell. Okay, switch for fires. I want to know if... Oh, they're weak to fire. Okay. Oh, what if we use dual casting and drown it in fire then? Okay, even worse for you. Saz, your turn. Go for the fire. Here it comes. Okay, gonna know that. Fire is the way to go. Uh, seriously, five stars just for this. I thought we had spent a lot of time, more than we actually... More than we should be spending. Alright, let's go. Doesn't really matter. All this dampness is damp. <laughs> Say as much, says. Careful, Vanille. Don't get your shoes wet. Oh, we know these fishies. We definitely know those. Let's just use fire against them. Oh, nice job, Saz. They're dying really fast. And get this. Whoa. Almost no health on these things. We're doing good. What do we have? Let's see. Actually, we got equipment to check in on. We got Magician's Mark on Vanille, which is nice. And there's Ember Ring on Saz. Let's see what we can equip instead of the Ember Ring. We got Iron Bangles that don't really change much. Spark Ring against Lightning. Metal Armband makes us more resistant to deprotect. I'm guessing now that we have a Suna spell, it will be all right. Or a Camulet, Ember Ring again. Oh, we got Tungsten Bangle. That's the. Oh yeah, the, that's the thing. That's the ticket. It's most efficient thing ever out there. Let's go for this. I'm guessing so far is the most efficient thing. Because he gets more HP just well, all of a sudden. Than homicidal scorpion robots and mountains of trash. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's it's a lot better. But it might be nonetheless dangerous. You know, this place to make a nice picnic spot, minus all the uninvited guests. Oh. Alright. Uh, do you have anything to eat? Or at least a drink? Not from the water. Okay. Oh man, they, they are emerging uh, from. The weed killer when you need it. Oh yeah, where it is? We got some fire, and the crops burn really, really nice. Now, don't attack the Flandragora. Attack the hedge frog. And now let's deal with Flandragora all the time. Okay. Use the fire! Drown it in fire. It's gonna die soon enough. Okay. Well, that, wasn't scary at all. Now, that was efficient, too. Doing good so far. Um, probably Saz was trying to... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You have seen it now, for sure, says. Okay. Oh, it didn't even manage to pop up. We have attacked it before anything bad happened. Get this. Make it faster. 
Okay, we did it. We did it. Okay, now let's finish him off. Oh man, they actually recharge pretty fast. Let's switch for fire and try firing them down. Get this! Well, that doesn't achieve much, even though they are vulnerable to fire, so... Let's just keep up with, with uh, Slash and Burn and be okay. Get this! They are kind of weak anyway. They don't deal all that much damage. Yeah, okay. With Commando, it's definitely better. Yep. The battles seem a lot slower. Everything seems a lot more calm. Oh, yeah, and reserved at the same time. Everything seems nice. It's like some kind of really peaceful, serene, and kind chapter of the game. Even though we have to fight through the monsters, but they don't seem remotely as dangerous as different Aster Proto Florians could be. <laughs> Come on, Saz, keep it up. Keep up with me. It'll be just a little quiet. <laughs> no, they're they're not they're no soldiers. That would be really weird if there were any. Okay, nicely done. Now now it's really good, Saz. Come on, finish the thing. Okay. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Going onwards. Oh, hello, Mr. or Miss Flandragora. Let's see if we can deal with that fast enough. Attack! Round first. Now dual casting. Fire again. Return to slash and burn. Well, actually... Yeah, it's got weakness to fire, but magic damage is normal. Yeah, it's definitely better than just sticking with fire. Just the fact that they have slightly altered vulnerabilities and weaknesses, it doesn't really change all that much. Okay, faster! Faster before they catch up! Oh yeah, that's nice. You can attack him before they uh, emerge from, from under the ground and that's going to be nice. Another one out of focus! Good! Return to the first one. Okay. Finish it. And deal with another. Because another one has already got out of stagger. Let's deal with another round and... Yeah, just as usual. One round, dual casting before it recovers. And here we go. Finish it. Okay. Really nice and efficient and good. Going on. You see how peaceful everything is. This Sunleth Waterscape is really a serene area. Gives us a nice time for the rest. And yeah, what do we have around? We have just picked Belladonna Wand. Which has improved debuffing. Generally the staff that makes her saboteur abilities better. I'm not sure in what respect better whether they have more chance to actually get uh, get used on the opponent so that they uh, have better effects. For example, as Deep Protect. What, what is this 
improved debuffing do? Feel free to inform me in the comments, because I really lack this information. Whether this makes the deprotect land on the opponents with uh, more chance, so that I spend less time trying to use that skill to be effective, or it means that deprotect will uh, drop more defense and negate more defense from the opponent. That's actually interesting. So if you want Vanil to be efficient saboteur, that's the way to go. This is the thing I'd recommend you use. But at this time, I'm thinking uh, we're gonna be using Vanille as saboteur a lot in this chapter, but later on. But for this particular moment, it is not yet the time to switch the per the Pearlwing stuff. Yeah, sorry. For Belladonna Wand. Later, I will switch it. As soon as we reach those... Uh, not yet, says Not yet. Probably a little bit later. It's going to be a break time. No. You want to rest, old man? Come on. Got work to do. Oh. Ah. Nice. I'm actually amazed how these guys can jump. Oh, we got some new opponents here. Oh, they're using fire right from the get-go. Be cautious. Oh, they can ruin our plans. Well, actually, I believe we got a lot of HP to withstand those fire attacks. Okay. A little better aiming during the following battle with these, if any. And everything is going to be nice. All the five stars, nevertheless. An ATCP just for these. Hmm. We got some rich spoils. Okay, attack first. Oh, no. We don't have time for this right now. Just two. Okay. Focus them one by one. I'm guessing that's the way to go. Yeah, come on! Follow her lead, Pops! She's so... <laughs> she's, she's the best cheerleader ever! Come on, Vanille! Switch for Slash and Burn again? I think she would have coped with this the best! Who's the best cheerleader ever? Vanille! Who's the cutest girl ever? Vanille! And who will beat the opponents down? Saz. <laughs> alright. We'll run with this. You see, everything is going to be alright. Oh yeah, bumper crop. <laughs> uh, now that is to say those monsters are cream of the crop. Come on, come on, I thought I thought I'd tap the button. What's the meaning of the word pops? <laughs> Is that supposed to sound a little bit archaic? Or what? I, I think there is some kind of meaning in this word, or supposed to be some kind of connotation for using the word pops. Because she's emphasizing emphasizing the word pops all that so much. Oh, are these the... <laughs> are these monsters actually the overgrown berries? <laughs> that, that's interesting thing. Okay, okay. And now we have three of them. Oh yeah, not really a big deal. Dual casting? Come on. Alright, we have done it. Yeah, he's again saying that Pops word. Okay, okay. They're trying to focus me. Okay, okay, we got no time. Okay, we're doing good right now. So, Landragora C, it's your turn. 
It's your turn. No way to run. No means to escape. You're dead. Come on, Saz. Do it together. I, deliber I deliberately decided to wait to synchronize my attacks with Saz. It's going to be the best bet. Now we're gonna finish the deal in time. And boom! Done and done. Victory, sweet victory. Okay. Whoa, I wish I could jump the same way. <laughs> Woo! Yippee! That's really nice. Oh, some more gremlins. Only three. Well, that's kind of boring. Okay. I'll get you what you deserve. Tiny monsters. Good thing of you, Saz, to have kept that alive. I have used that middle gremlin to land an attack on all the three at the same time. Oh, judging by those, this, these whirling red spots, it must be gremlins here. Okay, here we go. Surprise. No daydreaming now. Sure, no daydreaming. It's very serious. Oh, they are landing fire attacks. Boom! No. Choose some other target. Choose the one in the middle. Now it's basically not really important. Which one to choose? Oh yeah, Saz has finished the job. Nice. That was really nice. Oh, we have some something of interest inside over here too. Doctor's code. I bet we have one already. So what is that supposed to give us? I hope we haven't missed anything, right? We have basically looked up under uh, every corner possible, so we're doing good so far. There should be a dock on the other side of this tree. Oh, uh, really? You mean beyond this? Ooh, what a scenery! That's actually incredible! Wow. Isn't that nice? Any family? I have a little boy. Ah. Oh, so you're married? Ah, he may very well be not. He was? Uh, we gotta get you home. Your son needs you. Yeah, by the way, where is this son then? Come on, we'll make it. Uh, is there a reason to? It's too late. I mean, he's a Lassie, right? The Lassie thing? How'd you Okay. You might be a Lassie, but you're still a daddy. Oh, he's a daddy! <laughs> yeah, he is. And probably his son needs him, but what so, can be done about it? What's his name? <laughs> Vanil just trying to poke in because he seems to be enveloped in his thoughts. Kind of deep within. Keeping something to himself and just using a couple of jokes to distract attention from his gloomy behavior. Hey, oh, yeah, Dadge! That, that was the name he said right before facing the first boss, the first uh, foul sea. Okay. Well, you're never happy. You never smile. Oh, yeah, that probably so is a reason for it. I wish that you'd cheer up and be like your old self again. Aww. <laughs> boy. <laughs> How about that? Your wish came true. Oh yeah, that can be fulfilled. Wow. And there's a fireworks just for you. Oh come on, Sass, don't spoil it. That's my little secret. Ah. The wish. 
And what is this then? Is is that the wife of Saz's? <laughs> Who's that lady? You all right? Uh, oh, yeah. He just got a little bit carried away in Come his on, memories. Pop. You really got to keep it together, okay? Okay, now, we gotta do this. Let's go. <sighs> sure. Now I got kids looking out for me. <laughs> yep. I'm dead. I am. Well, what else can you count on, Saz? Right? Is there the way? <laughs> oh, avoiding encounters. A powerful scale beast awaits you ahead. It could be a difficult fight for only two people. However, this enemy is slow on its feet, meaning you can easily avoid the encounter if you desire. You will face many harrowing challenges and, uh, as you pass on, as you press on, sorry, yeah. When you feel your enemies may be too strong, avoid them. I'll tell you that much, for this very chapter, there is not a single enemy you can't beat, and there is not a single enemy you can't beat for the top rating. So. The battle is probably quite lengthy, but still you can take it, you can get a 5 star rating, so don't really be afraid, don't really get too worried, everything is okay, this chapter is designed for this. <laughs> it's just a tutorial for avoiding those encounters, I believe actually getting in the way of those monsters might boost your Crystarium, you'll be okay, and even better, leveled more efficiently and more thoroughly before the following chapters, so I'm guessing we are not going to be avoiding anything. This entire section of Sunleth Waterscape Would is going to be cleared out. Oh yeah, that's, that, that view is actually amazing. You referring to your son, aren't you? Someday you will. Someday you will. Don't these scale beasts look like rats? I mean, ju just look at that. They're gray and then those long, thin tails. They do look like rats. Some overgrown rats, I believe. Hey now. Yeah, let's go, Saz. Don't you get too gloomy. We'll figure things we'll figure things things out and we'll make them right okay. Fine, but I'm guessing this is the very place you have been wanting to see, Saz. Wanted a break? That's the time for us to make it. Yeah, just near the save station. I wanna check on Chris Tarium first. Yeah, Ravager fully charged. I wanted to finish off the saboteur because I wanted to grab this poison and probably magic will do as well. And let's return to medic because we have more magic here. And let's basically finish the medic and complete our efforts with saboteur. And with Saz, I promise that I will be going with synergist. That's the gist. Go with Synergist. And we, and we even grabbed the accessory already, so we're doing the best we can. And I hope we also will be leveled completely before finishing the last stages of this chapter. So everything is going to be okay. No grinding. Everything is being fine. Here's the time I save the game just to see you in the following episode of Final Fantasy 13 on ANZ with me, Zauberhaft. For now, I'm signing out. See you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, cheer up!